If you're watching this video, you probably have run into the issue where you need to upgrade your Unity version. So let's take a look at that right now. So I'm going to click on Connected, for example, and we can see this is my game. The name of it's Connected 2020.3.36F1. Uh, .3 .3 F1. Okay, so this version of the game that I have downloaded, I don't have the right install right the right version of unity to run this game and so i need to install a new version in unity hub so first things first you're going to need unity hub if you don't have it already just google download unity hub right and go ahead and install unity hub first and foremost that's the first thing you need now let's click on installs and then here's here's the thing that's boggled my mind i just want to bring this across that's why i'm making this video 3.36 f1 is right here that's what we need right we look at the installs and we don't have it, so let's go to install 3.36 F1 doesn't exist. So where do you get the version? Well, you have to go to a particular website. I'm going to link that website to you uh, down below, but here it is. Uh, this is the website, Unity QA, its releases. Uh, okay, so we're going to go to 2023.36F1. Uh, That's the one we need. Click on Unity Hub and then open Unity Hub and there will give us 3.36 F1 to download. That's the only way to do it. Really confusing a new thing that they've done here. Uh, let's talk about really quick when you should be upgrading and not upgrading. I don't need this version. That's just uh, for this video. When you should be upgrading and not upgrading. So if you have a project, typically you want to go to the latest or you only want to work with LTS, okay? Avoid betas if, if at all possible. Why? Because if you, if you start getting into doing betas, What's going to happen is you're going to get so many issues. You're basically being a free tester for them. Please don't put live projects in betas, okay? So when you start on a major version like 3.3 or 2023, you want to upgrade all of the minor versions right here. 1.6, 1.5. You want to keep upgrading those and keep, keep going along the line. Usually you can do this without too much of a hassle. And what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to update my own. Uh, right, so install editor and then 3.36 F1. What I want is 3.37 F1, which is the latest LTS, right? It's saying this is the recommended version. Um, I'm not sure why this one is recommended over the others, to be honest with you. Uh, but uh, 3.37 F1, which just came out two days ago, is the one I'm going to install. Anyway, thought I'd give you those insights on installing Unity via Unity Hub, the confusions that come with it. If you have any questions, leave them down below. If you'd like to know more about what we do, check out our Discord. Uh, I run a group of 168 open, it's like an open source project, but it's synchronous. We call it an open collective. We'd love to have you be part of that. Uh, and finally, if you want to watch another video uh, that is really important to know as a brand new developer on how to make a game without actually knowing the code, I'm going to leave that right here in the middle of the screen. I hope you enjoy it right away. Uh, this is a video. It, let's say you want to make a game and you don't want to learn all the code. This is a way to do that. Go ahead and click that video in the middle of the screen right now. I'll give you a moment.